Hey guys, I'm going to do the review of the developer preview 2 on the Google Nexus 5. Uh, I'll also do the same video for the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 9 and then some comparison too. So uh, I, I just flashed this um, new version and uh, you can see that it has now this uh, search bar on the top. Uh, if you look at the app drawer, you can see on the top we got the search apps option where you can search different type of apps and all that uh, if you don't find the app that you want to open so and then also if we go into the settings it also has this uh, this new USB and storage option uh, where, it, where it shows you uh, how much memory is taken you know by the apps and all that stuff and then also if we go back it also has this option about the memory where it uh, shows you the live memory usage in terms of you know which app is using the ram most and all that also it shows you the the performance which is on normal um you know if it's on low it will show you on low so and then also if we go back here to the home screen let's start this review from the lock screen so here you go with the three options that we have um, if you can just quickly unlock the phone you can go into the camera uh, or you can check out the google now so got the, these three shortcuts so this is the home screen you can scroll and then also uh, in the app drawer you have to scroll vertically uh, if you hold down an app you can put it on the home screen or another home screen or another home screen and then also you can make a folder of that app easily so that that is pretty nice uh, and also this is how our our notification panel looks like you can see that we got the same type of uh, uh, look as the Android 5.1 lollipop you can see we've got this arrow so nothing is that much different from the lollipop in terms of the look here and uh, of course if you go into the about phone and you can see the the model number here or the bill number here is the MPZ79M so developer PV2 there if we tap on the bill number a couple of times it will going to unlock the the developer option where you can enable system UI tuner USB debugging um, you can also scroll down to uh, see inact inactive apps like uh, the apps that I haven't uh, you know used for example let's say Clender it's you can make it active or inactive so it's like a bug you know uh, sometimes it doesn't respond that much quick of course it's a developer preview so uh, but yeah overall it's really good I mean I, I haven't seen major crashing on any other any other stuff like that so it's it's pretty okay to say that if you want to try it out if you want to taste the new next generation Android uh, goodness then you can try it out on your Nexus phone I mean it's not that bad um, you can see that we got this calculator app uh, we got you know the apps that you frequently use will be on the top here and you can see scrolling is now more good um, you can also check out the dialer which is also not that different you can hear that sound um, also if we look at the camera which is of course you can see working fine uh, you can take photos uh, the same type of uh, camera UI nothing is different of course probably we might see a, a different type of uh, UI with the camera with the final version you can go into the video mode you can also switch to the front camera without any crashing or anything like that so if you hold down the uh, the power key for a couple of times you can see just show you the option of power off that is also pretty nice so uh, yeah it's working fine I'll make a video tutorial of how to install it and how to downgrade after installing this version and um, and yeah it has this few neat changing changes uh, as compared to the developer PV1 but of course it's not that much of the final version final build I uh, will see the final build pretty soon for the Nexus phone and the tablets pretty soon. I'll make a video about that also. I'll, I'll, I'll do some comparison, do some speed tests. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.